welcome to this session in this session we are going to talk about solving recurrence relations using the method of generating functions but before we actually go to the method of solving recurrence relations using generating functions we are going to talk about what are generating functions and we'll also talk about a basic mathematical concept which is going to be used in solving them with the generating functions that is partial fraction decomposition and partial fraction decomposition i hope most of you will be very much aware of partial fraction decomposition but if there is some confusion or if you are not aware of that you have forgotten that you can watch this video and you will be getting an idea of this so in this session i'll be talking about what are generating functions and how to find the generating functions of common series and we'll talk about the partial fraction decomposition so let's start so the generating function the ordinary generating function is a way of representing a series with the help of a function or a summation function say given a sequence if this is a sequence that has been given to you let us say g0 g1 g2 g3 g4 g5 these are the terms of the sequence then the generating function of this particular sequence is given by gx is equal to g0 plus g1x plus g2x square and so on in other words it is given by summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity gk x to the power right so this is the ordinary generating function for this particular sequence we'll understand it with the help of some sim simple examples let's say i have the series 0 0 0 0 0 that means each and every term of the series is made up of zeros so the ordinary generating function of the series is 0 0 x 0 x square and so on is equal to 0 so for this particular series the generating function is equal to 0 i'll begin with some very simple examples and then i'll go to a little bit different now if i have a generating if i have a series where the first term is 1 and the remaining terms are all 0 then the generating function obviously will be made up of just a simple see if i use the summation notation this is essentially this is k is equal to 0 to infinity and here all g1 g2 g3 g4 are equal to 0 so i have 0 into x to the power k so that is equal to similarly here if i have here i have if i say if i take 1 over here and all these terms automatically become 0 all these terms become zero why because zero multiplied by anything is zero so the generating function will be equal to 1 let's take another example if i have a series where there are three terms 3 to 1 and the remaining terms are zero so obviously i have 3 the generating function is usually given by g0 plus g1x plus g2x square plus g3x cube and so on so here i have g0 g1 g2 right the remaining are all zero so this will be the generating function of this so this is okay if the generating function that i make for the series that i am having is made up of zeros or if there is there are only a few non zero elements in the series the remaining elements are all zeros so up beyond this particular term i am not much concerned with what will be the series similarly here also apart from these two, three terms all the other terms are zero so i am concerned only with the these three terms but what if we have a series like this where all the elements are made up of 1 1 1 1 1 and so on now how to find the generating functions of series like this in finite series where the elements are non zero so let's see this simple series say for example the series given is given as 1 1 1 1 1 and so on so the generating function for this if i talk in terms of summation series is given as k is equal to 0 to infinity right here each coefficient is 1 so 1 into x to the power 1 to the power sorry 1 to the power k x to the power k and 1 to the power k is one obviously so this is actually summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity x to the power k this is the series now let us find the generating function of this series 
see we are having three representations of the same series one is the series representation one is the summation representation and we will find out the generating function now how do we find the generating function i can this is the series that i have i can if i multiply both sides of this series with x i get x g n is equal to x plus x square plus x cube and so on up to once again infinity this is again an infinite series up to infinity this is again an infinite series now see over here apart from this term all the other terms are same see i have an x over here i have an x over here x square over here x square over here and so on so if i subtract the second equation from the first equation i can cut out all these terms and what i'll be left with is one so if i take gn common from here so i'll get gn is equal to or the generating function is equal to 1 upon 1 minus x this is how we find the generating function of a series so this is the first result the generating function for this particular series the series that i have given over here is 1 upon 1 minus x let's see some more examples say the series is given in like this 1 2 4 8 if you see the series is actually 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 and so on. so the generating function is actually 1 plus 2x plus 4x square plus 8x cube and so on. and if i talk in terms of summations this is equal to n is equal to 0 to infinity 2 to the power n x to the power n now i have to find out the generating function of the series so let's do one thing let us multiply this series on both sides by 2x if i write 2x gx i have 2x plus 4x square plus 8x cube and so on once again if you see the two series both the series both this series and this series are same except for this one so what i do is once again i subtract the second series from the first series gx minus 2x gx is equal to all these terms will be cancelled out and i'll be left with this one so the generating function of the series will be 1 upon 1 minus this is the generating function for this series so in another example if i have a series like 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and so on so that means the series will be g of x is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on once again if i write it in summation it will be minus 1 to the power n x to the power n where n ranges from 0 to infinity so how to find the closed form generating function of this once again what i'll do is i'll multiply this series by x so i get x gx is equal to x minus x square plus x cube minus x to the power 4 and so now instead of subtraction what if i add these two series let us say this is my series number 1 this is my series number 2 if i add these two series you can see over here i have minus of x over here plus of x over here these will cancel out plus of x square minus of x square once again they will cancel out so if i write g of x plus x g of x i'll be left with only 1 over here so if i take gx common from here I'll be one plus x is equal to one. That means g of x is equal to one upon one plus x. So this is the closed form generating function of this series, right? So let's take another example. If I have a series like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now this is a series which actually I cannot represent in form of a let us say uh, the summation series. but i have to find the generating function for this series the series the series can be represented as g of x is equal to 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 
4x plus sorry 4x cube plus 5x to the power 4 and so on. now suppose i multiply both sides of the series by x i get x plus 2x square plus 3x cube plus 4x4 and so on now see over here if i see the terms with x i have 2x over here and x over here once again if i see the terms with x square i have 3x square and 2x square that means each power of x the coefficient of each power of x is differing only by one in the first and the second series so if i if i do g of x minus x g of x i'll get i'll get 1 over here plus x plus 3x square minus 2x square is x square 4x cube minus 3x cube is x cube and so on and if you remember this 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube if you remember this was this was the generating function 1 upon 1 minus x so i can write g of x if i take common 1 minus x is equal to 1 upon 1 minus x or in other words g of x is equal to 1 upon 1 minus x whole square so this is the closed form generating function of the series now let us see certain examples where i have introduced a zero somewhere in between the series so i have the series 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 or i may have 0 0 1 1 1 1 and so on so if i look at this so the generating function the series can be presented as 1 plus x plus let's write it 0 x square plus x cube plus x4 and so on right so what i can write it like this is say for example this will be if i say 1 plus x plus then again it is x cube plus x4 and so on i can write it as 1 plus x plus if i take x square common from here if i take x square common from here i can write it 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x4 and so on and then i can subtract x square see i have added x square over here i have subtracted x square over here so essentially this series has remained the same so now this if you remember is the closed form generating function 1 upon 1 minus x and this minus x square so this series has the generating function 1 upon 1 minus x square sorry 1 upon 1 minus x minus x square so this is 1 upon 1 minus x minus x square right let's take this example 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 and so on if you see over this this is actually the series 0 plus 0 x plus x square plus x cube plus x4 and so on. If I take x square common from there, I get 1 plus x plus x square and so on. So once again, this is nothing but the closed form generating function 1 upon 1 minus x. So the generating function for this series will become x square upon 1 minus x. One last example before I move on to the next topic. If I have the series 1 a a square a cube, in fact, this 1 is also a to the power 0 and this is a to the power 1. So, this in fact is similar to this series 1, 2, 4, 8. If you remember, this was actually 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3. This is similar to that series. Right? So, let's, let's find out. We can we'll use the same logic over here also the generating function is actually 1 plus ax plus ax square a square x square plus a cube x cube and so on in terms of 
summation i can write it as n is equal to 0 to infinity a to the power n x to the power right so once again i can multiply this side by a x so a x g x will become a x plus a square x square plus a cube x cube and so on so once again if you see the first series and the second series it differs only in one so g of x minus a x g of x is equal to one so generating function is equal to one upon one minus so these are certain examples of generating functions i suggest you do a lot of practice for finding generating functions so that given any series you will be able to find out the generating function 